Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Node Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure network adapters and assign the network addresses. As per our course content, we were supposed to start with Gaia OS installation and creating a virtual machine where we were supposed to designate one machine as checkpoint management server and another machine as checkpoint gateway. But the reason why I'm adding this tutorial in between is might be all of you know how to create a VM network, how to assign the network addresses. But there is a possibility some of our friends might, might not be familiar with this. So just let me give you a brief overview of our network design and then we will proceed with the configuration. So guys, as per our network design, uh, we will be having one checkpoint management server, one checkpoint gateway. On, when we talk about the checkpoint gateway, we will be having three network ports. One will be Ethernet 0, which will be on the internal LAN side and it will be connected to VM network 1 adapter of the VM. The IP scheme which we will be using over here will be 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network. Then comes Ethernet 2. On the Ethernet 2, we will be connecting this particular Ethernet 2 of the gateway checkpoint gateway to VM network 2 adapter and the network address which we will be using is 172.16.0.0 slash 24. And the last comes Ethernet 1 port which will be facing to the internet side. Over here guys, I would like to inform you that since my uh, network which is, uh, I mean the LAN side of my network, it is 192.168.0.0 slash 24. But at your home, at your office, from wherever you are doing this lab, might have some other IP scheme. So you can define the IP scheme as per your requirement. But if you have any doubt over here, you are most welcome to comment in the comment box. Taking further, on the LAN side, on the Ethernet 0, we will be having one checkpoint management server and one management station to manage the policies and all. Then on the VMNet2 adapter, we will be having one server which we will be using as a web server. And in the future lab, when we will be doing a lab on Active Directory, at that time we will be connecting one AD server on the internal LAN side itself which will be connected to VM Network adapter 1. Now moving on to the configuration, what we are going to do is, we, as per our network design, we need one bridge connection, we need one VM Network adapter 1 and VM Network 2 adapter. So we will create this. Let's quickly move to the VMware workstation. What you have to do is when you open the VMware workstation, click on edit over here, go to virtual network editor. Going over here, what you have to do when the virtual network edit editor windows open, click on change setting. And then over here, if you will see by default, you have one bridge connection. As per our network design, if you will see, we need one bridge connection, but by default, we have one bridge adapter over here. So we will be using the same bridge adapter, which will be facing to the internet side. What is our requirement? We need VMNet1 with this particular address and we need VMNet2 with this particular address. So let's create VMNet1 and VMNet2. What you are going to do is click on add network over here. Uh, if you will see, uh, click on this, the drag down menu will open and you have a uh, multiple network adapters. We will select VMNet1, click OK. Once this VMNet1 is added, we will do the configuration changes as per our network design. Uh, just keep this host only option as it is. Connect a host virtual adapter to this network as it is. We don't need a DSCP for now so we will just uncheck this box and we will change the IP scheme as per our network design for VMNet1. So what is our requirement? Our requirement is on this VMNet1 we need 10.1.1.0/24 network. So we will change this network as 10.1.1.0 55.255.255.0. Click on apply.
So over here guys, we have added VMNet1 and we have configured the IP addresses as per our network design for VMNet1. Moving on, we will again click on add network to add VMNet2. Click on OK and you will follow the same process. Once VMNet2 network is added, you will keep the setting as it is. You will remove the DSCP services since we don't need the DSCP and you will change the IP scheme as per your network design requirement and the IP address will be. Let me take you to the design. It's 172.16.0.0 slash 24. So it will be 172.16.0.0 slash 24. That is 255.255.255.0. Click on apply button. Finally, click on OK. So guys, just let me repeat a few things. What we have done is in today's tutorial, we have created VM network 1, we have created VM network 2, the bridge uh, network adapter was already there. And on VM network 1, we have assigned the network address as 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and on VM network 2 we have assigned the network address as 172.16.0.0 slash 24. So in the next tutorial what we are going to do is we will download the OS, we will install the Gaia OS and one virtual machine we will designate as checkpoint management server, another machine we will designate as checkpoint gateway and we will be using this created VM network to assign to this particular Ethernet port that is on Ethernet 0 we will be assigning VM network 1 and on uh, Ethernet 2 port we will be assigning VM network 2 and the Ethernet 1 of the firewall gateway will be the bridge connection and the rest all things as per your network design. So guys that's all for this tutorial if you have any doubts please feel free to comment and I will try my best to reply to your queries as soon as possible. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.